time for everybody. I got hurt in a car accident. Why should I call the Law Brothers? Because when you're hurt, you need money. And we'll fight to get it for you. We got a client who injured their neck in a car accident, $350,000. Another client of ours suffered a bad head injury. We got them $6.25 million. Now those are the results I'm looking for. I'm calling the Law Brothers. I'm attorney Sean Lalazari. And I'm attorney Sherbin Lalazari. Call us. We're, We're the, the Law Brothers. Brothers. Call 310 million or visit lawbrothers.com. At Chevy, the holidays mean going places and doing things you love to do with friends and family. Visit your local Chevy dealer, and when you find your red tag, you find your deal. Then make the most of your time with the people who matter most. Find new moments, find new roads. Well-qualified buyers get 1.9% financing for 60 months on all 2022 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups or get $2,500 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The NBC4 News at 3 starts with breaking news. Good afternoon, Buenas tardes. I'm Lolita Lopez. We begin at 3 with breaking news from Riverside County. A deputy has been shot and killed in Harupa Valley. NBC4 photojournalist Alex Vasquez just arrived on scene. Alex, what can you tell us? Lolita, what you're looking at here is a large perimeter set up uh, near the intersection of Rathke and Golden West in the city of Harupa Valley. Now, this is right across the street from an elementary school. And in this neighborhood is where we believe a deputy has been shot and killed. Now, uh, we have heard from Sheriff Bianco, and he did uh, confirm to the media that the deputy has deceased from some sort of injury. Now, witnesses told me that there was a shooting because they heard shots fired. I know that the large perimeter has been set up as they're searching for the suspect, so the suspect we believe at this time is outstanding. Now this is a relatively large uh, perimeter, it's about three blocks, it's just adjacent to the 60 freeway. Now I'm going to pan the camera over here a little bit, and these are some of the residents that are out here. Uh, they've been out here for quite a while now. Man, can I have you come over here real quick, please? Now this resident here, I mean this is the first time I'm talking to her, come on over now. Uh, what's your name? Corey. Corey, what's your, uh, what's your last name? Bellinger. Corey, talk to me. You live right here in this home. What is it that you heard? Uh, we just heard like a car chase go by. No gunshots or anything. When you hear that this happened right down the street from you, what are your thoughts? Uh, scared. Yeah, obviously, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pan the camera back over here and just show you the investigation. Obviously, is just getting underway. Right now, we do know that it actually occurred down that street right over there. I, I can't quite get a uh, look at the street here. I'm going to try to push here. But sorry for my focus. That That is where it all took place. And actually, I am seeing... I believe the sheriff is over there. I'm not quite sure if that's him or not, but there's a lot of homes in this area and it happened in a residential street. So you can just imagine that there was a lot of probably people, kids, maybe even outside because they're on the Christmas break. But right now we do know that the officer did sustain injuries and it sounds as of right now he is deceased because of what the sheriff confirmed to us. So that's the latest from the corner of Rathke and Golden West here uh, in Harupa Valley. I'll send it back to you, Lolita. All right, Alex, thank you so much. And we have our reporter, NBC4, Tony Shen, headed to that location right now. Look for his live reports beginning on the NBC4 News at 4 o'clock. Now to our other big story. The Yento. Pele gained international attention in 1958 when he led Brazil to victory in the World Cup final. Under Pele's leadership, Brazil also won the World Cup in 1962 and for a third time in 1970. In 1974, Pele officially announced his retirement, but a year later, he accepted a $7 million contract to play with the New York Cosmos of the North American Soccer League. He was successful in elevating the sport in the U.S. and remained with the Cosmos for two and a half seasons, leading the team to a championship in 1977. But Pele permanently retired in 1978, ending his career with an impressive 1,280 goals in only 1,362 games. He published a best-selling autobiography in 1977. A year later, he received the International Peace Award. He composed many musical pieces, including the score to the film 